Hey everyone, Summer Moon Garden here. It's good to see you again. It's been a while, uh, but I wanted to show you today. I've got a lot of hydrangeas that I'm putting in the ground today, and so I thought I'd show you exactly where I'm putting them. Um, I have to add a little bit more summer interest to the side yard that I have here uh, that we recently uh, redid. And last year we were able to get a lot of really beautiful things in the garden bed. But to me, when I looked at it after everything came back this spring, I was just kind of like, man, I feel like there's still a bunch of holes in here and there's just not, um, it needs to be planted a little bit more densely. So I got, let's see, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 11, I think that's right. 11, no, 12, 13, 13 new hydrangeas to put in the ground. I'm a little obsessed, yes. So I'm gonna turn the camera around so you can see what I've got here. Okay, so here I've got some really big hydrangeas that I'm kind of just interspersing in between the beds. There are some smaller hydrangeas here, which eventually I probably am gonna have to move those. Um, but for now i'm just going to keep them where they are until these grow in and then i actually might end up bringing that one to the front of this border here because these maidenhair ferns i don't know if it's just still really early spring and they don't look that great or if they're just not doing so well here i'm not really sure um but i may end up you know moving some things around maybe pulling the hostas up a little bit further and then popping in um, the smaller hydrangeas up front. These right here are called Summer Crush and they don't get very big. So it's just at the time, that's what I had uh, last year. We had gotten them at, I believe we got these at the Growers Outlet in Loganville. Um, but here's the new ones that I'm putting in. I found these at Home Depot and they're called Deer Dolores and they get five by five feet high and wide. So they're gonna get really nice and big. Hopefully kind of give us a little bit more privacy from our neighbor's driveway on this side. Um, Cause still, I just feel like a lot of this stuff in here is super low growing. Like, you know, um, what are those called? I can't think right now, but they're not gonna get tall there's really nothing in this bed aside from this camellia here that's gonna get tall. And so if I can get these, you know, if they get five to six feet tall, that would really help kind of just add a little bit more pri privacy to the area. Um, this area is looking great. Uh, the lamium here had actually died off. Only one plant survived. And so I pot it, uh, put in these August moon um, hostas and I really like them here. I think they look really beautiful. And I did that about a couple weeks ago. Uh, but you'll see here, I've also got some smaller hydrangeas that are going in. Um, this is a bloom struck I planted a couple weeks ago as well. So I've got one here, one here, and another one here. These don't get that big either. Well, I mean, it says four to five feet wide, but it doesn't get very high, three to four feet, which is, I don't know, to me, that's pretty short for a hydrangea. We'll just kind of see how it goes. But like I've said before, I really want to pack this area in full of plants, like to where you don't see the ground. So see if things are a little tight together, I'm okay with that. Uh, but there's another deer Dolores back there and back behind the Japanese maple. And then I've got another bloom struck here and then a couple more over here. So, I really like how they're just kind of interspersed in between everything and it should really feel really, really good. I think once everything matures and grows up. So well, you'll see here, the Brenner is blooming. Isn't that nice? Sweet little blue flowers. And then also the woodland phlox is blooming, which is really beautiful. I love this stuff, it's so pretty. So yeah, and honestly, like when that gets bigger, I could totally move these, like there's a, kind of like an empty spot here. I could totally move these plants closer to the border uh, to make more room for the hydrangeas. 
so I'm gonna plant these in the ground and I'll show you how it looks when I'm all done. Um, some of these shrubs back here, I'm actually gonna be replacing with the hydrangeas. There's some Pieris. I think that's how you say it, Pieris. They um, didn't really do too well. That one's like, I had to cut half of it off. And then another one has like one twig left. The third one looks really great, but I would, I would way rather have a nice bank of hydrangeas back there. Um, you know, again, to help with the privacy. So I'll probably move the Pieris uh, somewhere else and, you know, we'll see how it does. I can find a, I'll find a spot for it somewhere. So, um, so yeah, I'm going to get these planted and then I will show you how it looks when I am done. Okay. Everything is in the ground. I've got my new dear Dolores here, here mixed in with the summer crush, which, you know, they'll eventually grow into each other and I'll probably, like I said before, um, either move the summer crush closer to the border or just put them somewhere entirely different. Uh, but I put a whole bunch back in there, so that'll hopefully help with a little bit more privacy in the summertime. And then there's Bloomstruck. And then there's another bloom struck that I just planted and then another one tucked back in there and then the other two back in here. So everything is, it looks a lot fuller now actually. That, I think this will do the trick as far as really um, getting this area packed full of plants. That's a twist and shout by the way that I planted a, a couple weeks ago which is doing nicely there. So, yeah. It looks a lot fuller with those hydrangeas in there, that's for sure, and they're gonna get a whole lot bigger. And eventually, I'm probably gonna have to um, cut some of these, the Japanese maple branches are hanging pretty low. I'll probably have to make the canopy a little bit higher on those. Um, but I've got two bloomstruck that are left and I was planning on putting them on each side of this doorway. These shrubs here are gardenias and they're the type of gardenias. I don't know if y'all remember when you're in the grocery store and you'll see like a gardenia in a pot. It's like a florist gardenia and they're really like a zone eight plant and I'm a zone seven and it got really cold this winter and as you can see, it did not like it at all. Um, it's still alive. As you can see, there's some new growth. But honestly, if it's just going to get um, hit by frost every year and do this, it's kind of like, what's the point of it even being here? Um, it just looks really ugly right now. And it's probably going to take a long time for it to recover. So I was thinking about digging these out and then putting these um, bloom struck hydrangeas in its place so and they stay a little bit on the smaller side these things have completely like engulfed the doorway almost I've had to cut back several times to keep it clear so I think that these shrubs will just work out better for this area so that's that all right y'all thanks for watching I appreciate it and uh, my next video will be coming up soon. I need to show you guys how it looks around here. Spring has sprung and there's a lot to show you. So watch out for that video. It should be coming up soon. Hope y'all have a great night. See you later. Bye.